If you want to see a show which is full of explosions and massive physical work and, and just goes at, at 100 miles an hour, it may be two hours, but it doesn't feel like two hours, uh, then, then Boris is the show to, to come and see. In Boris Good Enough, I play Lady Marina. And I'm reported as being rather beautiful and uh, a real tour de force. I play various roles, but one of them is the border guard. He's a very unsavoury character. <laughs> She's a Polish princess, and Grigory meets her on his way to taking over Russia and the Kremlin and the throne. He meets me and he falls in love, which is great, because I want to be his equal. I want to be on the throne with him and I don't want to be the woman behind the man, I want to be the woman next to the man and he really meets his match and there's this beautiful fountain scene that you sort of imagine is going to be two lovers telling each other how wonderful they both are and it's not. She comes on and she says we're doing this and it's, and it's quite funny because of that. She's a strong young woman and I remember Michael said to both of us you need to, you need to turn up the I think he said the intellectual brilliance. And he could have just said, pick up your cues, speak faster. But he didn't because they're sharp. She's, she's bright. I remember thinking maybe it's like kind of Aaron Sorkin territory. You know, kind of West Wing, not, not a cue is dropped and she's so on it. She knows exactly what she wants that he can throw anything at her and she can bat it away and deal with it instantly. Being the unsavory border guard, I think he, he really highlights the, the sort of desperation there is and the, the corruption which has happened during, during the time uh, of Boris's rule. There's a much darker message to it and how much they take advantage of those who are much less fortunate. With Pushkin's work, which, which has been uh, adapted by Adrian Mitchell, that's another play which has a deep history and was censored. It was written in the, in the 1800s. The official premiere wasn't until 2007. So for us to be able to do a play which, or two plays which are deeply set in histories of two worlds which we completely don't know about and were, were sometimes before Shakespeare and sometimes during the time of Shakespeare is a very, very exciting prospect and has been a great privilege.